what is the principles of testing okay means what is the meaning of that why we are going to discuss this topic first okay means principles of testing is nothing but here we are going to uh, discuss why testing testing is uh, having their own uh, means uh, rules and regulations also sometimes okay means here the first principle of particular testing is principle of testing is early testing what is early testing here early testing here nothing but in every phase we already discussed it, right in every phase uh, we are going to do the testing after first gathering the requirements we are going to review the gathering requirements and uh, after planning you are going to review the planning and after uh, designing the part you are going to review the design your design is nothing but hld lle documents you are going to review the documents is that particular documents are prepared as per the requirements or not as per the standards or not okay they are going to check it like that in every phase of doing testing is very compatible and is very means what is the influence it will give you uh, means cost of decrease it will decrease the cost of fixing defect right if you are uh, finding that defects in early stages itself it is very better to decrease the cost of fixing defect right correct yeah yes uh, that's why we are going to do early testing okay next second option second uh, principle is exhaustive testing is not possible second principle is exhaustive testing is not possible why is not possible what is the meaning of exhaustive testing here uh, we cannot guarantee that uh, the product is uh, defect free Hmm. But we can guarantee the quality that uh, it will, will do the uh, it will do what customer want. Exactly. Uh, exactly. exactly. I will give you one example for that. Okay. Means you have one text box. Okay. You have one text box. In that, okay, it will allow numerics only. It will allow only numerics. It allows numerics from okay positive numerics only one to thousand. Okay, can you tell me in how many ways you can check that? How many? Sorry. How many ways? How many ways we can check? Yes. Uh, we can check. Uh, first thing is the positive testing. To see that whether we can put numbers mm, uh, okay. between one to thousand. Okay, means you have to check with all the things one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Yeah. Okay, and then we can't, we can't, we can't check all the numbers. Yes, exactly so right. right. Exactly right. That's, like that's the thing I want to deliver here. Means here we are not going to check all the things from one to thousand. If you want to check like that, how we are going to check means you have to check with one, two, three, four, up to thousand. And after that, if you are going for negative testing, means you have to check with negative numbers minus one, zero, uh, zero minus one, minus two, like that, up to infinity. Okay, for negative testing from thousand one to thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, like that, up to positive infinity. Like this, you have to test it. It means in your project text box is a small part, right? For testing the small text box, if you are taking this much time, okay, how much time you can take to do the testing of the project? That's right, why yeah. exhaustive testing is not possible, okay? Not required also, okay? Exhaustive testing is not possible and not required also. Why it is not required means we are not going to concentrate on all the functionalities, right? Major functionalities. Uh, as you told that, okay, we are going to deliver def uh, risk-free product. Defective product is not possible to deliver to the client. Got it? Correct. Yeah. That is the thing. It means exhaustive testing is not possible and not required also. Okay. This is the second uh, principle of testing. Third principle. Okay, here the third principle is defect clustering. 
what is defect clustering here here defect clustering is nothing but for example i will explain with example okay take an example uh, of uh, how can we say uh, take an uh, means uh, can do you apply it for any banking jobs or any government jobs before online on online uh, no no okay uh, take an example of uh, do you load it uh, do you upload it your uh, uh, resume in naukari or uh, somewhere else in any uh, job portals yes 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 Yes, you are yeah. uh, you uh, you exported right at that point of time you are going to give you are going to fill major number of uh, major number of uh, text boxes right how um, i mean 100 numbers or 50 numbers of uh, text boxes you are going to give the information at that point of time yeah you have an idea right at that point of time okay it is a very bigger functionality right sorry i'm not with you a little bit take an example while you are exporting or while you are uh, means while you are registering with the naukari.com or whatever the job portal uh, you want to register it. while you are registering you are going to give your information right your first name yes. last name and uh, your gender and after that you are going to give your information your company details your experience like that you are going to write you are going to fill major number of uh, text boxes right correct yeah yeah take an example that is having 100 text boxes okay you are yeah. going to fill and uh, take one more example with online payment system for looking purpose okay for looking in the way of looking which is a uh, bigger functionality which is smaller functionality A bigger functionality look like a hundred text boxes. Yes, exactly. And online payment. Uh, huh. Online payment system is having uh, most probably three or four uh, text boxes, right? Means for whom you have to transfer the money, their account number. After that, uh, they will ask some credit card number or debit card number and CVV number. It will ask, and after that, transfer, right? Most probably four or five fields maximum you can see at that point of time. But which is complex here? online payment system is complex because we need to check yes exactly uh, right but if it is uh, sh seeing a very smaller functionality but uh, it is having more complexity inside the particular online transfer right but inside what is the functionality first it will check that your account is existing or not after that whatever the account uh, you want to send the money is that particular account is existing or not is that the internal bank or otherwise either outside of the bank is the other bank not related to this bank and is that particular uh, account is in active state or inactive state and after that is that uh, delivering as per the ifsc number is correct or not okay if it is correct then only the condition will be satisfied then the amount will be transferred from your account to the particular other account right these many internal operations will be done internally it is very complex okay. than looking for 100 text boxes which is available in your application at this point of time you have to concentrate on complex functionalities right all right yeah this is nothing but defect clustering means you have to what is the uh, meaning of this particular defect clustering means you have to concentrate on complex functionalities not on the bigger functionalities okay whatever the complex functionalities are there we have to concentrate more on that particular complex functionalities means where there is a developer there may be a chances of doing mistakes in that particular area got it you need to concentrate on the complexity of uh, functionalities complex you... functionalities instead of lengthy instead of lengthy it means not depends upon the lengthy functionalities depends upon the complexity of the functionalities we have to concentrate because you will find more defects at that point of area right that is yeah, nothing but effective testing that is called effective testing okay okay got it right do you have any doubts no no doubts okay next uh, next uh, principle is pesticide pesticide paradox what is this pesticide paradox 
is nothing but here uh, whatever the test cases or test scenarios which you have implemented if not suffice to identify the defects in your application at that point of time then we are going to add some more uh, test cases to the existing existing test cases okay that is nothing but pesticide paradox means we have to every time you have to uh, prove that you are in a position to prove that the particular uh, application is not working fine you should not try to prove the system is working you, you always try to prove the system is not working okay as a tester we we have to uh, try for that to do the system is not working or uh, it is not working fine okay we have to show that means we are the testers we have to show the particular defects to the developers okay because it's not possible i told you already defect free product is not possible discrete product is only possible that's why one more principle also there absence of error is a fallacy means it's a crime absence of error is not possible means if you are not finding the defects means you are not a good tester because every software or every application is having their own defects definitely it is having the defects okay yeah the fifth one is i already explained you absence of errors is a policy policy is nothing but a crime okay and the next principle is testing is context dependent please repeat uh, the principle number 5 uh, absence of error is policy nothing but every software is having its own defects without defects any software has not going to deliver right means you have to find that particular defects you got it yes testing uh, is uh, context dependent okay context is nothing but situation dependent and it is application dependent okay means i will tell you one example for application dependent your application dependent is nothing but here taken desktop application and take uh, some banking application okay can you tell me uh, how we are going to test this particular uh, desktop application what are the major activities major areas you are going to concentrate under this particular uh, desktop application Or otherwise, take this banker application. Tell me, for according to the banker application, on which areas you are going to concentrate more? In banking area, you are going to concentrate on much more related to the things security, right? security and after that performance and after that load sorry accuracy 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 why accuracy why accuracy will come into picture here is uh, i guess uh, not accurate exactly means this security uh, testing is uh, security is important for banking application performance is important load is important after that user friendliness is important right to interact with the application these are the major areas we are going to concentrate in this particular banking application and if you coming to the desktop application is that required to test security wise not required right is that uh, your desktop application means your personal pc in your personal pc is that required for security are you listening no not as, not as high as a banking application sometimes like we do put like a uh, password and you, that is your thing right you are already putting that particular security for your 
system okay no one can access that particular system right mm -hmm. yes that is the thing you are not going to concentrate on security then coming to the performance okay it means you are only the single user right is that required to uh, test the performance testing performance what is the meaning of performance testing here is whether the application is quick enough uh, whether it is loading uh, with uh, uh, within a time frame uh, whether it is delivering uh, if we got like more uh, more users <laughs> whether it will that is load testing use. means nothing but performance is nothing but time means while you are uh, sending some request for responding how much time for processing the request how much time it is taking okay that is nothing but performance here okay coming to the load means how many at the single point of time how many members are accessing that uh, particular application while they are accessing is that uh, coming properly or not or otherwise it is taking much more time or not that, that is nothing but load testing okay those are all cool things not going to test for desktop application right correct yes like that if you go for any e-commerce application or otherwise uh, like shadi.com website ua part is important right than security which part sorry ui you user interface user interface is nothing but here we are going to check the alignments and look and feel and logos okay these are all the things by seeing the photos if, if you go for shadi.com website okay means if anyone required bride or groom they will reach that particular website okay by seeing the faces or photos they are going to decide that right okay whether we are going for uh, acceptance or not by seeing the photos so itself they are going to decide that okay before before doing that if they are not maintaining good uh, user interface anyone is uh, preferred to go for that site correct yeah that, that's why application by application and uh, application type depends upon the domain depends upon the application type the testing types will be changed that is that's why the testing is context dependent and application dependent situation dependent and time dependent time dependent means why i am telling you time dependent means here time by time if you are having the for testing a particular application okay they are actually for testing that application or for executing the test cases it will take uh, per suppose 30 days time but you have in your hands 15 days of time then how you are going to deal the situation is that possible to execute the total test cases no at that point of time what you will do do you have any idea uh is at that time like uh, is a matter of uh, setting the priority yes and exactly. the severity of the functionality yeah, exactly they will uh, uh, prioritize the particular test cases which to be uh, on which test cases we have to execute means nothing but at that time point of time they will go for priority based testing right correct yeah this is the thing okay they will go for priority based testing at that point of time after doing a priority based testing they will uh, do the things okay in which way how many test cases we have to execute and they will execute the particular uh, application into live environment then they will do the testing uh, whatever the test cases has uh, means uh, left it okay after continuing that uh, they will uh, send some patches to the customer if anything uh, getting problem in that particular application okay that is that's why it is called as time dependent okay that is uh, that is the thing uh, what is the meaning of testing is context dependent okay uh, in, time, right? in terms of uh, in terms of uh, priority testing mm. who will uh, who will uh, who will decide uh, like uh, which uh, in terms of like reducing uh, the number will, of a test lead will decide that test lead yes okay and any doubt other than this and i guess it will be based on the functionality like what kind of CMS definitely CMS definitely CMS. because because if you if, means you have three modules in your project means per suppose you are working under a uh, second module okay you don't know about first module and second third module right but the person who is having uh, the particular test lead or otherwise ba okay so they will know the end to end functionalities right yeah they how to they are the right persons to do that which on which module or which side of functionalities we have to concentrate first 
got it right correct yeah okay, okay. the next thing is uh, the testing should show the presence of defects this is another uh, principle which is already we discussed about that okay testing should show the presence of this defects is this the thing we already discussed you got it right you understood do you have any doubts in this particular principle no i don't have any doubt okay you got it right you understood right yeah yeah this is the thing uh, the today's class okay means this is the total uh, thing related to the principles of testing and uh, software testing introduction has uh, completed tomorrow we are going to discuss about software development life cycle so what are we going to dis uh, discuss what sir software development life cycle sdlc process and after that sdlc testing methodologies we are going to see that okay sdlc uh, under under sdlc we have different type of models okay we, most probably we are going to complete tomorrow sdlc process and uh, under that sdlc process we have different types of models uh, we are going to see that models what are the sdlc models we have okay okay okay